Bytes are the smallest units used in computer address spaces. For example, jumping from an address of 7000 to 7001 represents a jump size of one byte or eight bits. I've always wondered why is a byte defined as eight bits? And recently I've gotten curious enough to finally look it up and I've decided to share it in this video. I've linked the sources that I read below. High level, the sense I got is that there's no rigid set of rules that forces a byte to be eight bits, but there are a set of heuristics that define some kind of Goldilocks zone for the ideal number of bits that a byte should be. And due to some historical systems, popularity of those systems, a byte just ended up being exactly eight bits. The first constraint I wanna talk over is the lower bound constraint, which I'm going to call the English alphabet constraint. The smallest useful piece of information other than Booleans in a computer system is the character or care for short. Because computer science was defined in primarily English speaking countries, the character ended up representing the English alphabet. If we count the number of characters we need to represent in the English alphabet, there's A through Z, that's 26 characters. There's the capital versions of all these letters, that's another 26, zero through nine, which is 10 different characters if this isn't the int version this is when you have them in some kind of character or string representation beyond that that's 62 so far beyond that we have a bunch of different symbols punctuation things like that think about the symbols above zero to nine on your keyboard or the punctuation scattered across that on top of lesser use symbols altogether, you're in the 100 to 200 range total for the number of characters you need to encode in this amount of space. Eight bits can represent up to two to the eighth or 256 different character encodings. Seven bits is 128, and that's cutting it kind of close depending on exactly how many symbols you want to define in your standard. And six bits is just not enough. You're at 64 and with just three symbols that already puts you over the number of things that you can encode with that amount of space. The last thing I want to note is that the smallest piece of information in a program is a Boolean. So you might ask, why don't we define a byte to be one bit? That's just because it's not efficient to do so. We would rather waste seven bits of space for a single Boolean that you store instead of having to read eight times the amount of addresses in a computer program. And there's a lot more things in a computer program than there are Booleans. Moving on, the next constraint is the upper bound constraint, which I'm going to call the efficiency constraint, which as the name suggests, has to do with space and runtime efficiency. Pretend that we define a byte to be 16 bits. So in this set of bits here, there's 32 of them we would write two address spaces like this. 700 again, we'll do 7001 here. Now pretend that we want to write characters into this address space. The first character that we write at 7000 ends up taking up this amount of space, the first eight bits of the 16-bit byte. The issue is when we go to write our second character, we don't write it in that latter half because we don't have access to that latter half directly. We jump to the next available address and we write in these eight bits. Now let's say we wrote a program and it's processing a 3000 word essay. All these words need to be written to memory before we can actually start processing them. 3000 words, that puts us at around 10,000 characters, which would be 10,000 bytes. In an eight bit system, that would be 80,000 bits. And I don't know, that's kind of a lot. That's not too important right now. The important thing is that in a 16-bit system, we're going to be using 160,000 bits instead of 80,000 to encode the same amount of information. That's a lot of wasted space. Instead, in this, uh, in this example we gave, if we decide to redefine a byte to be 8 bits, we can draw our address spaces like this. Now we have addresses 7000 up to 7003. And we can write characters into these slots as well, which puts us back to the more efficient 80,000 bits for that 3000 word essay. So to recap, the lower bound constraint forces us to have at least eight bits to a single byte. Then the upper bound constraint just generally says you should not use more space than you need to for efficiency reasons. These two together, at least eight, and don't go more than you need to, puts us at exactly eight bits for how many bits should be in a byte.
And the final thing I want to touch on is, does a byte have to be a power of two? It's pretty suspicious because computer programmers like powers of two. And most of the time there are set rules for why they should be a power of two. In this case, as far as I could find in my sources, there's not a really a strict reason it needs to be. And the final reason is probably just because programmers do like powers of two. And so it makes sense to do eight bits rather than seven or nine. And that's it.